broadcasting from Mabula, Kuwait. This is the Me and Larry reality video show, LTL Editorial News for September 20th, 2009. Weekend Review. It's Ed Mubarak Day, the end of Ramadan. Time to go back to your regular broadcasting system where people come out at 7 o'clock, late, uh, same time as I get off of work, 6.30, they be over there, they have to wait until the sun go down, and then traffic be jammed up, and then, of course, you can't take care of your business because they out there just window shopping, uh, playing around, looking at each other, uh, holding up traffic. You can't take care of business. Thank you, Kuwait. Please take care of your business early so I, myself, and others that work hard 12 hours straight, not just a uh, good old maybe six hours here, well, maybe uh, really five where it's open, and then shut down for three hours, and then start back up, and then waiting for us for that night. Poor us, or poor them. At least they get to sleep in between. We don't. 14 hours. But anyway, enough with uh, the complaining. Our sponsor is Buffalo Southwest Cafe. See it. Taste it. Love it. Mmm. That's a five star. I give it. Excellent food. It's so exciting. I know I've been eating some where it's cold, but yours truly had to keep on because he had to be busy. When you with uh, LTL Editorial News, you got to stay busy. And so you got to be up to date. When you're doing your, working on your career, your project, you look like you don't have enough time in a day to get it done. But you get it done. That's the fun part. And to put it on YouTube, you will love it. And you will know about the LTL. He gives LTL. That's little tender love, little true love, and little tough love. Let's start off with little tender love. And guess who I was talking about earlier? Yes. The Palestine. Palestine people, uh, in biblical days, there was nothing more than immigrant workers by the uh, Arabs. Yes, I don't have to understand from uh, the Bible or to others, but you could see them in their faces. They are immigrant workers, and uh, the Arab countries chose for them to move over to where Israel is. And uh, Palestine had their place, Israel had their place. And one map that showed Palestine taking over, other map that showed Israel. And so they had it set up and designed for Israel to be confronted with Palestine. Now what Obama and others are trying to do, even Jimmy Carter, to try to let them agree off of a small piece of land where this whole great big, you know, I can almost say dump, because unless you're at the mosque or uh, some of the religious area of the mosque that is real beautiful, or homes. Now, some of the villas are fabulous if you had the money and you all belong to the family, then you, you have money and your homes will be fabulous. But the thing is, the Palestine people don't have fabulous homes. They live in, uh, in America, they call it ghetto. 
it is ghetto, project area, where anything goes in the project area, and they do fight, they do steal, they do all that. They, this, what they do, they dig tunnels to smuggle out of different places, Lebanon, uh, Syria, different places. They didn't tell about that on CNN. They did a news report about them smuggling into those areas of countries, Arab country. But Al Ghazir tells the other side of the truth too. They go into Israel and smuggle over there, which make it more dangerous because the insurgents can wind up going under there and go and go into the uh, Israel and their occupied land where God promised them and tried to blow them up off the face of the earth. So, the Palestine is ready to uh, hurt people, the immigrant workers. I w you know, I wish, uh, instead of Obama and others trying to talk it over with Israel, Israel, I mean, is shrewd, sometimes mostly arrogant in their ways, they the richest, uh, wealthiest people in the United States. They take over uh, businesses like La Fiesta down in Houston and other parts of uh, the southwest of the United States. And uh, because the, if the Mexicans not take it, you know, taking care of it, the Jews can pay it. They got money, and so they can't even perform their music now. Without uh, the Jews say so, the Jews would be saying, uh, "No, don't play the music now." You see, it's a sad thing. You're not under control. You're not in control. You're under the control. So, in this case, they want Israel to be under control. No, they're in control regardless. How arrogant or shrewd or wherever. They in control, and then uh, the settlements. They trying to build houses. If you give it to Palestine. They don't have no idea. They make it in a slum area. Go figure. Teach them to fish. Instead of giving them fish, they can eat and they can enjoy, and they can build for a whole lifetime. The Arab country failed to do that. They want to go and try to take out Israel. And that's what's happening. They use them as pawns in this game of, uh, of the Middle East and in Arab countries. Ah, yes, I said that. I'm sorry to say that. But if you are a true Muslim, God is of love. Allah is of love, not a hate. So LTL give little tender love to the Palestinian people. And we'll be right back with more LTL editorial news and LTL giving LTL.